What's up everyone, my name is Kincaid, and if you've been following the channel, you might be familiar with this snowmobile behind me. If you're new to the channel, I did a video series where I picked this snowmobile up for $650 and got it running with no experience with snowmobiles. This is the first sled I've ever owned and it was definitely an intimidating task. That said, she's up and running and I've been having a blast riding it. So this video is gonna document that process of buying it for $650, getting it up and running, and then ripping it from start to finish. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. I post some pretty sweet dirt bike builds and riding content as well. I hope you enjoy the video. I figured if I could fix a dirt bike, I can fix a sled. This is a 2007 Skidoo Summit 800. So we're gonna pop this girl open and see if we can figure it out. What's that? Oh, that'll get the knuckles. All right. Ooh, she popped right out. Oh, wow, would you look at that? Couple more springs than a dirt bike header. Oops, that spring's gone forever. It's never, oh, that one's gone too. All right, what's that? Oh, no way. No way, it's a 10 mil. It's a 10 millimeter. Oh my gosh, to the guy I bought this sled from, I found your 10 mil, dude. That is too funny. Nice. Very nice. Heck yeah. Oh, just found some more stuff in the engine compartment. Probably shouldn't be there. Huh, that's a similar looking shape. Interesting. We're out. We're out, baby. Exhaust manifold off. I don't yet have a son to yell at while I tell him to hold the flashlight. So I just hooked my flashlight right through there and we've got a little more light in here for now. Ow. Oh. Carburetors out. So that's what snowmobile reads look like. This is lit. Head should go now. Yeah, baby. We got it. That's probably not a great sign in the crankcase, is it? All right, both pistons are out. There we go. Very effective. It's like intubating my sled. The belt is off. Let's see if that's enough. I feel like this is gonna make me jump when it pops. There it goes. Wow, I'm glad I was still filming. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Okay, I've been struggling with these motor mount bolts for uh, 45 minutes now. This rod in here just keeps spinning and I cannot get anything out. Are these not independent of each other? Okay, I've now resorted to doing something I might regret. I'm gonna stick that Allen in there. It's gonna work. 
that took a very, very long time, but I now have all four motor mount bolts out. And there goes oil. Well, I have made an enormous mess in here. Come on, girl. Oh, uh oh. Whatever that was, it might have broke. Well, this certainly escalated quickly. I now have a workbench full of snowmobile. There's some more shrubbery in the crankcase. I did end up making a big decision with these cylinders. This is the score right here that's concerning to me. It definitely catches my fingernail pretty significantly and is noticeable. So ultimately I decided that the right choice is to send the cylinders off to Millennium Technologies for replating. Millennium has replated all of my dirt bike cylinders that have needed work in the past and they've done a phenomenal job. <laughs> Yep, this is definitely questionable. For the most of what I've been doing on this project is pretty questionable. I think we made a homemade flywheel puller. Come on, baby. Hey there, I was wondering if you guys would have any uh, Skidoo flywheel pullers in stock. The actual Skidoo flywheel puller is like $130, but I'm almost certain this cheap Harbor Freight puller will do the trip. Found it. Out of stock. They had one in the back, and the lovely gentleman at Harbor Freight went and found it for me, so I think it's gonna work. We're switching to the big hops. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Woo! Wasted an hour before I decided to go to Harbor Freight, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I'm just gonna do a top end rebuild. Think. All right. Boom. I'm optimistic at the moment. I've learned that in the garage, optimism can quickly subside. on this one. I'm gonna put the entire crankshaft in my freezer and then torch the crap out of the bearing and see if I can get it to go. See, that's where that optimism diminishes. Almost there, super close. When I got home from Vietnam, these freshly replated cylinders were waiting for me. Try and give you a good look in there. Millennium Technologies did an unbelievable job as always. This is gonna be a uh, pretty hilarious contrast. It's time to get some pistons installed. Yes, got it. Wow! <laughs> the final piston clip. Got her, let's go. Okay, 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 we got one on. Oh, okay, first ring, first ring is on. Second ring will hopefully just pop smoothly. Come on, baby. No! First ring is undone. But it's snowmobile, it'll be fun.
This sh <laughs> Mother dude. God. Oh, this is got it. I was all attentive to put the piston on in the correct orientation and then I just spent 45 minutes struggling with these cylinders and I put them on backwards. So, um, oh, you live and you learn. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend that it was this easy to fix this. See, no problem, all fixed. <laughs> Two foot pounds, here I go. I think I've got to stand on the bench for this one. I just don't have the leverage otherwise. All right. Okay, one installed. And the second ray valve installed. Double wobble, baby. And there we are. In with the new. Wonder how long it'll take me to break this one. So now I'm just knowingly cross-threading this because I could not get it lined up. And the only scenario where this thing would need to come off again is if it breaks again. So, uh, yep, that's some quality mechanicing right here. Hit it with the old double wobble for good measure. We're dialed, bud. See that? Do you see that? That's an engine in the frame. The throttle works, the oil pump works, the choke works. By golly, I think we're getting close. I was like very prepared for it not to start. I was like, all right, I'm gonna pull it a hundred times and if it doesn't start, I'll start trying to figure out what's wrong. Oh, I can't wait to ride this thing. I think I'm gonna go take it around the block. happy I am right now. $650 snowmobile. I have to give one more enormous thank you to Millennium Technologies for replating these cylinders. So if you have a blown up dirt bike, a blown up sled, or cylinders that need work, send them out to Millennium Technologies. They do an outstanding job. Anyway, I think it might be time to put some clothes on this girl.
The sled is fully buttoned back up and I think ready to rip. What do you think, Leo? Mm-hmm.